Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. ICA? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables, human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce, the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right, I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Yo, what's going on, guys? So I'm going to do a, a full run. This is going to be Silent Assassin, but I'm going to use the Mission Story Impulse Control, and that's going to be to take out Hush. And then for Royce, I'm just kind of going to get lucky on my way over to her area. She just happened to be walking by with a security guard, and I just took advantage of the situation. Uh, I didn't want to talk through the cutscenes, obviously, not to ruin them. And then there's a nice little cutscene near the end I won't talk through either. But, so for this challenge, right, you want to grab a homeless disguise. So, there's plenty of them walking around. I'm just going to grab, I wanted to grab this guy, but I don't know if it was a guy. It might have been a woman here. And But she does drop a brochure, 
a brochure for the business that Hush runs where he picks up homeless people and like brainwashes them or does something to them. It's not really clear. And there's a challenge if you collect three of the of the brochures, brochures. <laughs> I don't know. It's a word I hardly say, but now I'm questioning everything I knew about it. Uh, you can get a challenge that you saw the first one pop up. So I just had the body, and I saw that he, if I don't obviously, if you're a hitman, you can't. You're just a guy, so you can't take a woman's clothes. They're not gonna fit. I'm assuming that's the reason. Um, so I'm gonna wake up this this guy and take his clothes, and then from here, see this. I already did the mission story, so the part where it says disguise yourself as a homeless person is showing up. But when you, when you first do it, that's not gonna be there. They're gonna make you eavesdrop on a conversation about uh, with a homeless guy who's gonna go do it, and then it'll pop up. And I think if you follow the mission story correct, you take that guy's clothes, but it's just easier to grab them here. And then you get the challenge, the downtrodden. All right, now's a good time to save. I'm gonna go listen to that conversation, so I'll show you where it is, just so you know, and it adds context to the story. But after that, then you got to find the entrance to the homeless shelter where they they review like uh, applicants to see if they're they qualify for Hush's uh, experimental treatment or whatever he's doing up there. I'm still not sure exactly what was going on in this challenge. So right up here is going to be the conversation you would listen to to get the official mission story. So I'll I'll shut up for that. I'm gonna be ready. Get the hell out of here. I got this plan, huh? and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. The flyer says so. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. Don't do it. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to fly on the building. All right, so I picked up another brochure, Future Progressive Initiative. So that's two. I knew this guy had one, so I'm going to take him out to get the challenge. But I didn't realize there's going to be another one at the homeless shelter, so you don't have to waste time doing this or taking the risk of revealing your identity. So I think in the official mission story, the way they do it is they kind of lead you to, to uh, take out this homeless guy to get his disguise, but I already got one, so it don't matter. And then I'm going to go to the homeless shelter. And then there's going to be a little bit of story dialogue there. But my thoughts on this level, it's not my, it's probably my least favorite. It's definitely a little bit hard. No, it's, I feel like the the difficulty went up a pretty good amount from the first three. Um, because you got two targets that you have to kill first, then the data core opens up. And the data core is probably in the most secure location that I can remember from a Hitman game. There's like a whole underground area of security. Um, they got electronic locks that you have to hack. It's a real pain in the ass. And another good tip is the data core is closer to Royce. So there's no point in taking her out first because you're going to have to go run, kill Hush, and then go right back to where you were. So it's better to take out Hush first, then take out Royce, and then you'll be close to the data core already. It'll just save time. All right, so I'm listening to this conversation. They were just talking about the homeless people. Nothing crazy. And then the entrance is going to be right up here to the left. Hi there. Let's get you out of the rain, shall we? We just need to frisk you first. Hey, how you doing? Sorry, I just need to do a quick search if you want to get through. Oh, yes, yeah, so I forgot to mention I am carrying a pistol, but it's... It's that custom 5mm that we unlocked in Berlin, so it's undetectable in Friss, and I am going to use it later. It's going to come in handy. Uh, but I'm going to shut up for this dialogue. It's kind of funny. The guy, the guy tells me I stink. God. What's that smell? It's you. Oh, how can you stand it? Your clothes are so filthy I can literally taste the stench. When did you last change your outfit? 
Seriously. I change my clothes all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. It's in there. Go take a seat. They'll get you and the other you guys to sign up. Full compensation for the above mentioned is part of the agreement when signed. And you waive all future rights to seek further compensation? Yes. Who would you like to benefit from the proceeding if you all right there. are incapacitated? Would you excuse me? Oh, so Hush likes the last one I sent up to the top floor. He'll be the one to conclude this phase. I knew Hush would be pleased with him. He's like... ...end up for the full package. Strong, too, all things considered. I'll wrap up down here. Thanks, Jun Lee. I was just informed that we don't need any more test subjects tonight. I don't understand. There's no work? Oh, no. There will be more to come. Depending on the results of the conclusion to this test phase, come back tomorrow and we'll schedule a new spot for you. Come in and take a seat. I'm sorry to inform you that we have all the test subjects we'll need for tonight. But you're welcome to fill in your information now and come back tomorrow. A guard is waiting outside the door. He'll escort you out of the building when you're done. Help yourself to an apple. Be a trouble. I do need my vitamins. Alright, so you saw me pick up that brochure, so that would have been the third one. And then I realized there's actually one in the other room here too. So you don't have to pick them up from anybody's bodies. You can just pick them all up. Once this guy turns his back and she turns her back, we're going to turn around, go through this window. I hope to see you tomorrow. And then we're going to get the disguise from the guy in the next room. We're gonna, then you can see the next step, find the test subject on the top floor. Now's a good time to save, too. Especially before you go to the top floor, there's going to be a lot of security. And if you're not familiar with the area, it's easy to uh, mess it up. And that's another thing that makes the level hard is just the uh, the confusing layout of these buildings like you really have to run around for for a while before you start seeing where all the steps are and what leads to what so there's nowhere to put his body inside the room so just throw him out here drag him over to this little uh, shipping crate whatever the hell that is and then when we get to the top floor I'm gonna show you this mission story can be long or short it depends on what you want to do. I didn't finish the long one because I just was getting annoyed because I was just trying to get it over with. So I just stopped in the middle and uh, reloaded a save. Just watch this guy. There is a... That's where the security footage is. If you want to take the risk and try to delete it. Uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Especially if you brought along that uh, weapon. The, uh, the one that can't be detected, the 5mm, because you can just shoot cameras. And then, like I said in my other videos, when you're walking around, especially on like your first or second run, I would always just pick up screwdrivers, just pick up wrenches and crowbars, even if you think you don't need it, because you don't know, because you, something might come up where you have to, you know, stab an electrical outlet or open up a door with the crowbar or something. Alright, so you can turn off one of these these pods. It's going to give you a challenge. I'm just trying to make myself make my way up to the top floor. We're going to find a test subject in the bathroom. He's going to be like questioning if he should do this or not. And there's our target. And then there's a radar, like right outside here on the roof. That's another challenge if you get him to if you turn it off and you get him to come out and uh, turn it back on. So like I said, I'm, so I'm just picking up this wrench. I don't know if I'll need it or not. And then here's the test subject. So we're going to get his disguise. We've got a closet right here. And then after you get his disguise, one of the scientists is going to come up to you and ask you if you're ready. So to save time, just knock her out or subdue her and then put her in the same closet right here. Because what's going to happen is when you start running the test, with Hush, he's going to want to push himself 
see I reloaded it and then, then the achievement popped up and this this scientist right here she's gonna stop him she's gonna say hey you can't go any further you're gonna kill yourself so if you take her out now she's not gonna be there to stop him and the other scientist is gonna let him go ahead with it and because what happens is she, she tells him to take a break then he leaves walks downstairs so it just takes a lot of time so just save yourself the trouble just throw her in that closet if you're interested in more of like the dialogue and these characters you could just let it play out I'm not exactly sure how it, if it ever ends though if she's there you might not be able to take him out at all I just didn't have the patience alright so we're here he comes with uh, see that see the, this lady will let him go uh, past the breaking point and then that's how we can take him out so you just wait for them and then eventually this guy will get out of his seat and then we can jump in Move his pants up too high never mind her I'll take over mm. what do you say sister Lei? should we start that mm. what do you say sister Lei? should we start at signal strength 60% he looks strong why not do up he looks strong he looks strong. Why not do a hundred? Yes, one hundred percent. I feel strong. So, the test subject came to his senses, I see. Good. Sister Lei, yes. We're about to perform the final test of this project phase. Take a seat. One on one with Hush 47. Log, Make him hurt. H109. Run calibration 100%. Signal strength 100% confirmed. H109 initiated. Good. All good to go. Identify impulse string. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. Nothing. He is a strong one. Ah! Damn it. Not again. He'll get nowhere like this. I don't understand. No one's ever resisted like this before. Let's increase the signal and get some results. What do you say, Hush? Do 120%. 120. Good. Let's do it. Log, continuing experiment, H109. Run calibration, 120%. H109 continued. 120% signal strength confirmed. Yes. This is it. It's all incredibly sharp. I feel my mind expanding. Identify impulse stream. Load suggestion. Motor control. 44.1. Execute. I... I feel power. I can see you. I'm not scared of you. I could... You got the bastard, Hush. Hush! Now go get Imogen no, Royce and we can get to the core. Okay, follow me. Alright, so this guy's gonna get you to try to follow him, just ignore him. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the Lotus Passage, which is it's a little tunnel that connects Hush's building with Royce's building that ICA. Uh, data factory or whatever you want to call it and it's actually where if you do the other mission story um, bullet points you could snipe both of them at the same time so I'm going to put this disguise back on I'm going to upload that challenge probably next that's a, that's a cool one I'll just do that challenge that mission story without the data core stuff because the data core just it adds like a whole extra level 
So right here they're going to have a meeting on the other mission story and you can snipe on both at the same time. But what you got to watch out for is they got these uh, drones. So with this pistol that I brought it's going to help me just take out the ones by the steps. You just got to be careful. You, you only have five shots and that's all you're going to get with this with this weapon. So I messed up there. Boom. So I think I only take out the one. That's good enough. So my plan was... Oh, actually, I didn't really have a plan. I was thinking about doing the other mission story to get her. Even though it would have took a longer time. It just, But it would have been a surefire way to get Silent Assassin. But I was like, well, let me just check out the area. And then see if I could kind of get something going. So I knew there was a guard down here. Just gotta watch out for that camera is a bitch. I should have shot it um, before I went into the building, but I will eventually shoot it. And I should have put this guard. There's gonna be a box um, the opposite way. I'm gonna take him, and it's gonna be outside, right outside of a door. Because he was really close to that box. I didn't realize it was there. I'm gonna end up putting the target in there. It would have been a lot easier to put her in this one though, because I'm gonna have to put her. Her um, security guard in this one. So I should have shot the camera right there because I'm going to have to go back and shoot it. Oh, yeah, and then it's important to have the lock pick. I don't, I don't remember. I, don't, I didn't see if they had a keypad or not. So when I came in this building, I just randomly seen her. I was like, oh shit. So I got lucky. And that's a good point to save because I messed this up a few times because it's it's just a weird situation where she walks up these steps. And just hangs out with her guard right there. So I learned my lesson. I got seen by the camera dragging her body out the door. So the first thing I want to do is go back, take out the camera. I'm going to let her get into her little spot. She's like going to pull out like a piece of paper and just study it. I don't think she has any dialogue here. And I'm going to draw out the security guard, put him in the same box. And then she's going to be just left all alone. And you just got to watch out because there is two guards right here by the entrance. They're going to hear the coin, but they're not going to investigate. Investigate. I can't even talk today. Investigate. Great. Alright, so take his weapon. Take his disguise. And she won't even see through your disguise either. Which is good. Another weird thing is I picked up that screwdriver and I was I killed her with the screwdriver, I threw it at her face. And then those guards outside actually heard it. I was like, what the fuck? So I had to restart it. They don't hear me dropping them in a dumpster, but they hear the screwdriver going through her face. So what I did is I just subdued her and then broke her neck. So it's, it's gonna be a lot quieter, I guess. And she's going to drop a tier 3 dongle, I think that's how you say it, which is going to give you access to the uh, certain levels, the level 3 areas in this little uh, facility. So like I was saying, I should have brought that first guard to the one I'm bringing her at now, because now i got to do this long drag. It's just going to uh, increase the time on this. And so this door is one of those shortcut doors that you get a unlocks a challenge I don't think you need a crowbar to open it it looks like one you just open just dump her in so that's the target so now you could hack the data core it's usually on a regular level you'd be done and then the, the, the exits for this one is there's one where you could hack a, an exit which is the best option it's the closest the other ones you have to leave this building but you'll see it's a pain in the ass because when you hack the data core, the building goes in lockdown, and you have to like take a specific route to get out, or there's no other way because the, there's guards everywhere. So I wasn't sure if they would let me through since I was like in that security outfit, but they see me with a weapon on my back and they're asking me to get frisked. It doesn't make any sense. So I was, I'm curious if they would have frisked me. It's like, oh shit, he's got a weapon. Like, duh, he fucking can see it. So that's you're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to open that door. But you could um, 
there's a window right here you could open or a vent with the camera it's gonna hack it then you'll be able to pick up a level two or a tier two dongle on this table I believe it's tier two maybe tier one Let me see. Yeah. Uh, and a banana so we're gonna go around the security check watch out for this camera this is gonna get us to the data core so you come through this area on the other mission story where you disguise yourself as a representative from the ICA it's a pretty cool mission alright so right up here don't go up the steps Oop, go down alright so here to the right is going to be the data core and it's going to be a little cutscene so I'll, I'll be quiet for that and then you can see in instinct mode it's in red so you know where it's at Good, you're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. It's all here. Clients, operatives, every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first, you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. you go way back I didn't realize that you I don't know I get why you want to protect her so wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest Set up a link to an information nonprofit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Shit! I missed that. We're blown, 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. All right, so for this part, it's almost like scripted. You have to go a specific route because of the way they set it up with guards, it's like almost impossible to get past them. So we're going to go through these little little tunnel, go through here. Um, there's going to be a chloroform bottle right there to, on the shelves to the right. So I don't know if you could have used that on the vent system and then knock everybody out. I'd even try. Follow this way, follow pretty much following this lady. And right up here, if you're fast, you can get here before the guards do. You can go right through here. So I didn't see that my first run. I was trying to sneak past guards and it was just pain in the ass. So if you're quick and you know where to go, it's easy. And then right up here, this is actually Royce's office. Where 
the mission story ends for her, the other one, where you get to fire certain people in a certain order. That's pretty cool too. So right now you're kind of you can kind of um figure out how you want to get past these guards, be creative, but that part's tough. You just gotta be quick. Don't don't sit around waiting for them. They're, they're just kind of go for it. And then for this exit, you're gonna have to hack the uh, the door, and then the um, the mission automatically ends. If you don't want to go through that door, you have to go outside, which is a little bit extra step, but not too much. And then you could take a train, you could cut through apartments. And, or you could take like a scooter. That's like the three other exits if you're trying to get the challenge. So I, I would recommend right before you get, right as you get near the exit, save it. And then uh, just if you want to get those challenges real quick, just reload it and then do the different escape routes. So this is the way I came through that little security area where, I, where I, they wanted to frisk me. So I want to go through the same vent. And you can see the exit, it's got the lock on it right now. So I shouldn't have went up the steps here. I kind of messed up. So go back. Oop. It's going to be right over here. So all you got to do is scan the door. Just wait for these guards. It seems like it's almost scripted that they, they start walking right there as you get to that section. And then that's it. That's going to be Silent Assassin. And I'll let the, uh, the cutscene play. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. I knew our nameless friend would come through.